It's not after an off season where he hasn't got a lot of first team work in practice. Right. Okay. Stupid predictions. What's your stupid prediction for this week's game? Yes. Um, I kind of feel like the Vikings have the momentum. They they they're figuring things out, but because they've beaten the Saints the last two times, because they have so many injuries. I'm going to go with the Saints in this one. Uh, I mean, I think it could be like a 7-10 to 10 point victory for the Saints. I agree. I just think the Vikings' defensive injuries are going to leave them too vulnerable, and, the, and Breeze and Peyton are just too smart. I think they're going to get picked on. Some Certain players are going to get picked on in this game. Uh, so I'm going to go 32-27 Saints. I think it'll be kind of a shootout, but yep. I, I like Breeze in a shootout. Uh, you know what we just did? We just did an entire show about the Vikings and the Saints without saying the words, Minneapolis Miracle. Miracle? I don't know whether to be proud of that or embarrassed about that. I think I'm proud. I, I, I think I'm proud we didn't go down the same road that everybody else is going down. Yep, I agree. I know there, there's so much talk in the locker room about it. And, and the other thing we never mentioned was Bounty Gate, which is a t- typical Vikings. But I think that's so far in the future or, or in, in the, the past, past now that there just aren't any players that can relate to no. it anymore to, to get feedback from. And, and I, I hope most Vikings fans are kind of over it. I mean, to me... That was a Greg Williams production more than it was a Sean Payton production. And I just, you know, I don't have a lot of problems with Sean Payton. Uh, When it comes to the whole Bounty Gate thing, it was Greg Williams. I agree. And the other aspect I will always remember about Bounty Gate is that the the guy who got hurt by it the most shrugged it off. I know. Brett Favre was like, yeah, that that happens in football. Yeah. That that goes back to the old school NFL toughness because, honestly... I think Favre believes there was a bounty. On I agree. Him. He just wasn't going to make it a public. Yep. Uh, he wasn't going to lie about it publicly. And and I kind of appreciate that. Um, yet, I I think every Vikings fan in the country wanted him to come out and just yes. blast the Saints. Absolutely. About, you know. But the other thing with with Favre is he's not so far from New Orleans, living where he lives. Right. So he comes out and blasts New Orleans. That could take a lot of his fan base away from That's the southern true. And fan then he wouldn't base. be able to sell all those, like, you know, copper fit type things <laughs> to all his fans down there. Or us. I or mean, us. We, we might need the copper fit pretty soon. And here we are, we're talking about all, you know, here we are on TalkNorth.com talking about toughness. Favre and all these, you know, and Everson Griffin, all these people who put their, and you know what? We got a host on this network who got hurt putting on a sock the other day. <laughs> And another another guy that's on this show that got a hip replaced. Yes. So <laughs> in his forties. So how tough are we? We're not very tough. No. Uh, thank you for putting up with us, even with our lack of toughness. Uh, thanks to Mississippi Pub, MississippiPub.com for hosting us. Thanks to Beaver Island Brew Brewing uh, for uh, helping sponsor the program. Once again, our other sponsors: WizKids.Tech, Great Minneapolis Company, Twill in the Dining Galleria. BiteSquad.com, Tony Hoagland, your State Farm agent, Champlin, FixologyRepair.com. And again, that promo code, Vikings2018 for BiteSquad.com.